What's going on guys, King Trats here, back in another video on the channel, and today we are back at KFC. This is a two-parter. One I found out accidentally, one I already knew about, but KFC dropped a new condiment. Yes, a condiment, like a sauce. They have a buffalo ranch, which I got four of them, you can see right here. So I wanted to see what that was like. A lot of people tag me in this stuff on different social media platforms, so shout out to the people who did, I appreciate it. You guys are doing better at my job than I am. But also, when I looked at the menu, I found this and I couldn't believe it. KFC, part partnered with Tinder. I'm not kidding. KFC has a Tinder meal. Yes, where it is a special where you get a large two-person meal, which consists of six chicken tenders, two biscuits, two sides, and two drinks. Now, you can get any side you want to, but I got fries because they ran out of everything else. The place closes at nine, I was there at eight. So they did throw in two cookies for me, but this doesn't come with it. But you get yourself a nice cheeky little cookie. But everything else is what you see over here. I believe it comes out to about $16, $15, which is a little bit of a discount, but it's kind of funny, so I wanted to do it because I do think it's kind of hilarious, so I did that. And because I love these from KFC so much, and it's been a while since I've had them, I had to throw in a nice little KFC chicken sandwich, the spicy one, as well as a Nashville hot tenders meal. They don't sell these a la carte, which I don't get, so I got a three-piece with another side, so it does come with fries and a biscuit, which is soaked in Nashville hot sauce. I'm not complaining about that. So we've got the Nashville, we've got the tenders, meal we've got the chicken sandwich we have got a w drop that thumbs up for you boy man like subscribe you know all of the cringy youtube stuff a lot of people say they would forget to hit the thumbs up button if i didn't say it so i do appreciate it let's start with the move bro but let's start with the buffalo ranch i want to try this stuff here we go um I mean, they do have buffalo sauce and they do have ranch sauce, so I'm not expecting anything crazy. But you know how new stuff is, man. We just got to give it a shot. Got to try it out. So let's get a tendy up in here. We got the tendy. These are supposed to be extra crispy, um, but they're extra soggy. And yes, I live a half a mile away from my KFC, so it's not because I ordered it that way. Here we go. Tender broke in my hand. Here we go. I got to put this down. <laughs> there we go. Drip, drip, drip. That's okay. Why does that work though? Now Popeyes dropped the Buffalo Ranch a while ago. Actually does have a bit of a crisp to, this, to the tender. I take that back, I'm sorry Colonel. The reason I like that, the sauce has a good balance. There is a good amount of Buffalo kick to that, as well as a good amount of ranch taste. Sometimes you get one more than the other. But they did a nice job of giving you a pretty good balance on that. Now, with that being said, am I going to tell you, yo, you got to go get this sauce? No. But if you're there and you want to try a new condiment, I think you will enjoy it. This is nothing noteworthy. They already had both of those sauces, just, just a mix of the two, but we always got to give it a shot, see if there's something different to it. I like the kick to it, though, a lot. Also think it's going to bang when I put it on this chicken sandwich. You know I'm going to do that. Also on the KFC fries, which are actually tasty, but I'm still mad about because the wedges were perfect, at least to me. That is my take on that, I and mean, obviously... You know, I, there's nothing to say when it comes to the Tinder Mill. It's just a cool little concept. If you're like me, and you eat enough for two people anyway, it's like a discount. We'll take that. Half my stuff is on the floor anyway. All right. If you don't know about these tendies right here, these Nashville Hot, one of my favorite things at KFC. These go crazy. These do not. These, man. Hmm. I know that the Nashville hot that you order from restaurants like this isn't like the most accurate to real Nashville hot chicken, but I love like that. That different kind of taste you get. It's why I liked the chicken RIP so much. I wish they gave this a Nashville hot, but if you were going on a Tinder date and you ate Nashville hot chicken, you probably ain't gonna end well. At least to me. The 
These are both Diet Pepsis. Of course, and of course, one of the better chicken sandwiches on the market. It was number three. Now for me, it's number two because Burger King dropped down. But the KFC chicken sandwich. I wish I had a little Mac to throw on this, but that's still okay. They do a good chicken sandwich, man. Brioche bun, always a dub. Lots of white meat in there, always a dub. Hand breaded, always a dub. Not frozen, always a dub. My only complaint with KFC's chicken sandwich and Popeyes is I'm a spicy variant person. The only thing spicy about that is that they put a spicy mayo in there. I get it from a fast food standpoint. It makes more sense. It would take a lot more work to put spicy in a chicken sandwich. But Wendy's does it. I'm just saying. So I got to take that into consideration. Look at that. Coats it perfect. We love to see it. Mmm. KFC sides are kind of butt cheeks. But I like their chicken. And we got a Nashville hot soaked biscuit. We also made sure we got the honey. Which is honey sauce. They can't tell you it's honey because it's not 100% honey. Little tricks that these companies do. Gotta put the honey on a biscuit. Damn. Oh, thick honey ass. It's honestly one of the better biscuits I've ever had from there. I think I got one fresh one. But I'm standing by the fact that KFC's biscuits don't really taste like anything by themselves. But this one, with the honey, I like that. I think the Tinder idea is dope. Let me ask you this. Now I'm just being nosy. Would you take your Tinder date to KFC? Ladies, fellas, as a, as a man, what do you think about KFC for a first date? Three piece, some biscuits, and a drink. Ladies, what do you think if a guy asked you on a date, I'm laughing because I know what the majority of the answers are going to be. Now he said, hey, I'd like to take you out sometime. And you said, oh, that sounds good. Where? Now he said, three letters. Smooth with it. K. F, C. What are we saying, ladies? If I asked you to take you to KFC, would you go with me? Or are you gonna say no? This one's a weird one for me, to be honest. And I'm gonna catch heat for this, but I'm saying it anyway. I don't think I'd take you to KFC on the first date. I don't think I would get KFC on the first date. Unless it was a part of like a grander plan. Like maybe we'd go somewhere and then at the end you said you were hungry and you was like, I'll go to KFC, that's cool. But it's a weird vibe to go like to like KFC or Popeyes on the first date. Y'all sitting there talking, chewing on chicken tenders, y'all don't even know each other yet. I personally don't like dinner as a first date. I don't want to eat with you yet. I just want to know what you're about. I just want to talk to you. And I'm not even talking about the money part. I don't care about the money. Like, money is money. At the end of the day, I don't really feel comfortable spending a lot of money on somebody I don't know. No matter who you are. But, in this case, forget the money. 
I feel like first dates should be super casual because there were two people that don't know each other. And I think the ultimate objective for a first date, if your intentions are like, you know, serious or good or whatever, is that we should figure out if there's actually chemistry there. If there's actually a chance for like something, like we've got something here where we start talking and we get along well. And something like coffee, something like you know, a walk, I, I don't really care what it is, but something where you can have a casual conversation and figure out whether or not you do actually even get along. The reason that I prefer that is because I don't want to waste your time or mine, for starters. Also, because if the date is bad, like say you meet somebody, and this is why I don't like dinner. Say I met you, and we were out to dinner, and we really don't, we really don't hit it off at all. Like, there's no chemistry. You know it, and I know it. If I'm out to dinner, and we get appetizers, the main course and dessert, and the dinner's not even there yet, now we got to sit there for another 45 minutes to an hour, being like, yo, I just want to get out of here. And worst case scenario, somebody just gets up and dips and somebody gets left with the bill. You know what I mean? And that's why. I just feel like if you're doing something super casual, coffee, hell, KFC, I'm just not ready to watch somebody eat chicken tenders. You know how I eat it, probably food on mustache. If you're out for coffee, you go to a you know local coffee spot, whatever it is. If there's no chemistry, ask for 10 minutes, you drink your coffee, you get up, listen, I don't think this is going to work. It was nice meeting you, and you go. So, that's why I prefer super casual. There's no reason to plan an elaborate date with a stranger. In my opinion. And I think these days, a lot of people in general have their own idea of what they're doing when they're like looking for a potential partner. Um... And I know that a lot of times people will be like, oh, if you're broke, just say that and stuff like that. For me, it never... These biscuits suck, dude. <laughs> biscuits are ass. Oh, make me a sandwich. Let's do a sandwich. Let's do a... No, I'm not using the buffalo ranch. I'm not a biscuit. I'm not wasting it. For me, there's only... There is something... That is way more valuable asset than money. Look at that. Cheeky little tender biscuit. Brioche bread is better. Keep it in the box. The most valuable commodity to me, more than anything, is time. So one thing you can't get back, so one thing you can't buy, the clock is the clock. It doesn't stop. And I don't want to waste it. So I don't want to waste my time, and I definitely don't want to waste your time. There's nothing worse than, you know, like a casual dating scene where People waste time. You know, they don't make their intentions clear. They don't actually even like you, which men do that, women do that. You know, people use each other. And I don't want to waste somebody's time. That's why I never really understood the thing where people get upset because they start talking to somebody and they say something that's a red flag, or they don't like. Or when you ask someone, for example, what are you looking for? And the person goes, look, I don't even know. Or look, I just want attention. I would rather you say that and me leave. 
It'll help not waste time. And I don't want to waste that. So, I know sometimes I hear these crazy stories about Tinder. And, you know, for example, a woman will be talking to a man. And it'll be something along the lines of, oh, what are you looking for in a relationship? And the dude is like, I just want something casual. And the woman's like, oh, and they're so upset and blah, blah, blah. I feel like that's good because that's what he wants, one. And two, that's not what you want. So it's not going to work. And you don't have to waste any more time. Done. And for him, he can go find someone where he there is interested in something more casual. Because the alternative is someone lying to you and being like, oh, I want a girlfriend or I want a boyfriend, and they don't. You know, they just want some chicken tenders or other stuff, twister. So, I respect it. And it doesn't make me mad. I feel like you're just being honest. So if I was talking to a woman, and I said, well, what is it you're looking for? Some people don't even like that question, which I find weird too, but. And they say, attention, there's a lot of guys out there that are willing to give it to you, even if you said that. So, you didn't waste my time. I'm not here to just give you attention. That's weird. For me. And we go. But a lot of times, people would rather lie so that they get what they want. You'd be surprised how far honesty can get you. And why waste time? I just feel like the more I mature, the more I understand that is like how important time is. And if you don't want to waste time, any more time than you have on something that's not going to get you to whatever your goal is. So if your goal was to find a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I wouldn't want to waste time moving away from that goal because of deception. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I think Tinder's hilarious though. And there's a part of me between me and y'all, that I think it would be hilarious if I like went on Tinder to see what it was like. Just went on the phone there. Said, hey, I'm an old dude with a mustache. Would you like to split uh, a Tinder meal and see what happens? Now, I know most of y'all are saying do it, do it, do it, but I ain't doing it. So what would y'all do if I pulled up one day with a random girl? And had a Tinder date with a Tinder meal. Sounds kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. I'm not doing it. KFC Tinder dates. I'll make a series. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Alright, this is my last bite, bro. But, in all seriousness, I think the Tinder meal, even if you're just getting for like you and your wife, your girlfriend, or you know, you and your brother, I don't give a crap, but, and you like tendies, sit up. I feel like tenders are a lot more date friendly though. You know, you ain't got like chicken bones and shit. You know, bones, no, you don't want that. But the Buffalo Ranch is a W idea. Let's just, let's just get it in here real quick though. I feel like I didn't, I didn't really do that. You make yourself a nice buffalo chicken sandwich. We like it. We like it. But that's going to be the end of the video. Tomorrow, I'm going to see some crazy horror movie. So I like a nun in it or something. I don't know the name of it. But I have that movie pass. So maybe I'll talk about it a little bit in the next video, but I don't feel like that movie people are really going to care about. 
So I might just leave that for like the Twitch streams and stuff. And if you're watching from the Twitch streams, um, thank you like so much. You know, I'm really enjoying streaming and getting to know you guys on a much more of a better level than me talking into a, uh, a camera and I don't have that interaction. That's why I wanted to do it. I wanted that interaction with you guys so I get to know who I'm talking to a little more. Whether you found me on here, found me on Twitch, found me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. My main goal will always be to interact with people. I started as a live streamer and I'm finding that more fun again. And I'm also enjoying the YouTube. So the content wise, my life right now is very, just been awesome. So thank you guys so much again. I'll be on Twitch later. The link's in the description if you haven't seen it. Just pop in. You can ask me whatever you want on there. I don't just play games. Like, we have conversations. We did food rankings. Whatever. Anyway, we'll be back, though. Tomorrow, more content. I love y'all. I hand signs. They made it to YouTube.